This is Sports Center. On this edition of Sports Center, we've got the first two weeks of the football and volleyball seasons. The football team dominated their opener against Benson County, but the next two games didn't go as well as the Bearcats went up against the Tornadoes and Rockets. On the volleyball side, the defending state champs started the season where they left off last year by dominating everyone. It's all on NHSPN Sports Center right now. Hello and welcome to our first Sports Center of the 2015-16 school year. I'm Derek Linsoth along with Johnny Heisler. Later we'll be joined by three more co-anchors. The Bearcat volleyball team is the reigning Class B champs. They lost two seniors from that team including Sarah Hagler who was named Miss Volleyball. This year's team would need to see how well they will replace those seniors. The team began the year strong with a first place finish at the Botanoo Tournament. Their next step in the season was taking on the Rugby Panthers. Kristen Murchie starts off the match with an aggressive serve. A perfect pass from Taylor Crom leads to a kill by Peyton Halverson. Stephanie Miller uses strategy to put one down for an ace. Macy Quilvang delivers a pass to Faith Crom to set up Kelly Hushley for the kill. Gabby Miller spikes a line drive attack to the Panthers. Quilvang and Crom set up the strong double block. Macy uses her versatility to smash the ball down not once, but twice in a row. Halverson places her serve in the opening of the Panthers' defense. Quilvang passes to Crom to set Stephanie Miller up for the killer hit. Taylor Crom finds the gap on her dangerous serve. Macy hammers the ball down to the backcourt. Murchie has a hard serve that leads to Quilvang smashing the ball into the unprepared Panthers defense. The Bearcats continue their winning streak going 3-0 over the Rugby Panthers. This could be a start of something big. After that win over Rugby, the Bearcats took on the Barnes County North Bison. This is a new team that was added to the Bearcats schedule this year, so they went into this game not knowing what the Bison had to bring. The North Star Bearcat offense gets the Bison scrambling as Peyton Halverson puts one down for a kill. An unexpected back row attack from Quilvang gives the Bearcats another point. A lethal serve from Kristen Murchie goes down for an ace. A great dig by Taylor Crom led to a kill by Peyton Halverson. Macy Quilvang and Faith Krong set up a double block and the Bison cannot hit a round. Another point for the Bearcats. Macy Quilvang hammers one down from a beautiful set from Faith Krom. Stephanie Miller gets up to block the Bison attack. Faith Crom pulls the Bison defense by putting over a quick set for a kill. The Bearcats stay strong with a 7-0 start to their season. As expected, Macy Quilvang takes over the kill leadership of Sarah Hagler. Faith Crom gets her 1,000th assist at the Botno Tourney, and Kristen Murchie continues to lead the team with aces. Hi, I'm Peyton Halverson along with Macy Quilving. We'll be covering the football games. Last year's football team managed to make it to the playoffs, but many key members of that team graduated this spring. With only two seniors on this year's team, it looks like this will be a rebuilding year. The season started out with a home game against the Benson County Wildcats, a team that had been in our region for many years, but is now a member of Region 4. Let's check out the highlights. Komorowski hands off to Heisler, who cuts left, eludes the tackle, and runs 50 yards for a well-deserved touchdown. Ritterman is forced to the outside before he throws, and Legacy picks off the ball for an easy interception. Dugdale splits the offensive line with no problem and makes a great tackle. Komorowski cuts back and throws to Thomas for his first catch of the game. Komorowski fakes the handoff to Heisler and cuts back to the left for a touchdown. Ritterman runs to the outside once again before he throws and Borstead snags the ball for an interception. Komorowski fakes the handoff right, fools the defensive line, and runs 40 yards left for his third touchdown of the game. The Bearcats outgained the Wildcats by almost 200 yards. Johnny Heisler ran for 108 yards and led the team with 14 tackles. Coming off that big win over Benson County, the Bearcats traveled to Cavalier to take on the two-time defending state champions. Things didn't go well for the Bearcats. 
Cavalier snaps the ball and the whole Bearcat team gets through the line and jumps in on the tackle. Legacy takes the kickoff at the 10 and carries it all the way to the 47, breaking tackles as he is going down. A beautiful snap to Kamraski and he gets just enough time to throw it to Heisler for a first down. Doug Dale goes out for a pass and dances his way into the end zone over several Cavalier players trying to tackle him. Solseth makes a beautiful swim move and shoots through the O-line to make the tackle. Although the Bearcats probably didn't expect to win this game, they had hoped to do better than this against the champs. The running game was completely shut down, but they did manage over 100 yards through the air. For coverage of the final football game, here's Kale Miller. Thanks, Peyton. After that tough loss to Cavalier, the Bearcats hope to bounce back and get a win against the New Rockford Cheyenne Rockets. In the two previous years, North Star has handled the Rockets with ease, so most people were expecting a good chance at a win. Johnny Heisler picks off his first pass of the season as he jumps in front of the intended receiver and brings it back 14 yards. A host of Bearcat defenders swallow the Rocket running back for a 6-yard loss. Thomas and Solset cruise past the O-line for a tag team sack. Heisler goes past the line untouched as he gets this easy sack. Sinker goes for one of his three carries on the day for a big 10-yard gain. The Bearcats took a thumping this night and for the second straight week they were never in the game. Heisler led the Bearcats in the tackling category, but the NRS defense held the Bearcats offense to a much below stellar performance. The Bearcats came into the New Rockford game looking for a victory, but the loss now brings the Bearcats to 1-2 and two on the season. Thanks, Kale. That's it for this edition of NHSBN Sports Center. Check back in a couple of weeks when we'll be covering a couple of home football games as well as the volleyball scene. On behalf of Peyton Halverson, Johnny Heisler, Derek Linseth, and Kale Miller, I'm Macy Clothing saying thanks for watching.